Okay, so as you can see, the flame did get a little bit higher as it went down further into the jar. Um, normally that happens because there is something called air inside the wax. Try to see if I can get a little bit um, closer. Okay, there's something called air inside the wax and um, this is considered, what, what do we call it? We call it whip wax. So <laughs> your whip wax does uh, have moments where the flame will get a little bit higher. You may have a pineapple to knock the flame out, a cherry to knock the flame out. So these are all the things that are important to tell your customer.
you know your customers must know like your every candle must come with a set of instructions letting your customer know hey this may happen during the burn this may happen during the burn you may have to pour off wax because at one point I have to pour off I had to pour off a little bit of wax just to get that flame to burn normal and then it back and then it leveled out and it was just burning normally okay now as you seen um, before you had all of that wax caked around that jar once that flame got a little bit higher that wax began to melt down and now it's at a normal place just burning quite normally okay so these are all things that will cause you to feel like you did not make this candle right um this candle has the wrong wick and somebody else when they seen all of that wax caked up on the side of the jar they would have went and wicked up and guess what would have happened you would have wicked up and it would have been too hot and then you would have had a high flame okay so this flame is perfect this is pretty much how this flame is going to go down the jar now if it gets a little bit higher guess what i'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim that wick again, but this is what you need to let your customer know. This is not a regular candle. It would not burn like a regular candle. And normally customers buy these candles because they are cute. These are novelty candles. So you may have to trim the wick two times between that four hour frame of a burn. But as you can see, it's burning normally. It's not suiting. And, um, I pretty much left it for a while and, and that air inside that wax just caused that wick to just burn a little wonky and I just had to trim it and it was smooth selling like right now it's going to burn smooth after this. Okay, so this is a video just to show you that you are doing a wonderful job on your dessert candles. Your dessert candles are burning perfect. Okay, you're doing such a phenomenal job. But these are the things that will happen during the burn that a lot of people will not talk about. They will not tell you that this happens or that happens. They will make it seem like, oh no, it burns straight, it burns fine, it burns normal. And so this is the reason why a lot of people quit dessert candles because they feel like, okay, well, mine's is not burning like that. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. You are not doing anything wrong. Remember, Remember, we're, my, we're making these candles and we're doing something extra inside of them. We're putting embeds in there. We're putting crumble in there. Um, in some cases, we put gel in there. And then we're turning that wax into like a whip topping. So in between that whip to topping, you have pockets, you have air. There's a number of variables. There are so many things that will cause this candle to not cooperate properly. So I just want to let you know that you're doing a phenomenal job. You are doing great. You are doing awesome. Keep doing what you do. All right.